not to go small like they had to in game four to win that game. Underway at the Delta Center. Malone puts it in Stockton's hands. Malone again. For seed, but obviously they have reason to feel confident against Utah. And Wahed is open inside, and Divots finds him with a nifty pass. Malone hands it to Stockton, but it's blocked away by Wahed. Here comes Williams to the front court. Pull up three. Weber on the glass. And Malone will take it. He's tied up by Williamson, and they glare at each other. There have been some hard fouls taken. The officials have to step in. Jack Knees and Dick Cavetta. Hugh Hollins is the third official. All of them are veterans. There have been some hard fouls and some flagrant fouls already in this series as Divots and Ostertag go at it now. Yeah, when you look at the regular season, Ostertag and Vladi have had some problems. He took, Ostertag took a flagrant flat, a foul on Vladi early in the season and was, eventually was ejected. But I think one of the things you're happy about is you're seeing some energy and emotion from Ostertag here. But you see they get locked up underneath. Really the play is over. They're locked up. And both guys said, we're not going to let go of each other here. Just a little bit of test to get this game started. No one's going to back down here early. They've been tough. They've taken hard fouls and played good defense. Stockton out to Russell. Russell's three. It was simply a personal on Williamson. That's all. Here's Weber. Contact, and the foul will go against him. Now, Rick Adelman, one thing he said about the, his team is we've got to have energy, but we can't get too emotional and get impatient. You see here early, the energy working against them, the trapping violation. Looks like there's been a technical foul here. Weber gets a technical foul, so tempers are flaring here early. Weber's saying, look, watch the elbows that the Jazz are throwing. Now, Weber established a tone in this series, for better or worse, by flattening John Stockton early. Yeah, that was nine seconds in the game, too. Sacramento went on to won that, win that game here in Utah, then went and won game three. I think it's a great timeout by Rick Adelman. His team is frenzied right now. The emotion is working against them. Got to calm them down a little bit. Divots passes out of the double. Wahed. Ostertag got a piece of that, but also a piece of the body. Stockton returns it to Malone. How often have the following words been uttered? Assist Stockton, basket Malone. Weber again. On an offensive foul, his second. If I'm Rick Edelman right now, I might take Weber out of a game. He's lost his cool here. He's trying to do things too quickly. He's had a traveling violation, a technical foul, now an offensive foul. Maybe just give him a couple minutes to calm down and then bring him back. Won a playoff series since 1981. They were still in Kansas City then. Ryan Russell drills the jumper. Stopped it all the way. And it won't stay down for him. The Kings still struggling to find their rhythm here. Foster's open. 12-3 Utah. Pumped. Five turnovers for Sacramento already. Foster has hit two in a row in relief of Ostertag. And are still in jeopardy here, but they start strong. Wahed has it squirt out of his hands. And Stockton takes it. Their sixth turnover. One a sec on the wing. Utah pours it on. Weber. Williamson chases down the miss and saves it. And now lays it in. Screening for Stockton. Malone at the head of the key against Divots. Divots reaching in and Malone is tossed to the floor. He gets up and assures his teammates in the crowd, I'm not
not taking the bait. I am not taking the bait. Well, see, Vladi actually looked like he got his arm when he tried to initially pass it right there. He hit the ball of Vladi's head. I think hit, uh, Vladi got upset and he just threw him down. Those are the plays you've got to stay away from, Bob. Those are the emotional fouls that don't do your team any good. You see the ball off Vladi's face. I don't know if Carl meant to do that, but Vladi did not like it and he threw him down. An offensive foul against the Jazz. It's Malone, and it's his first. Carl Malone has had a very difficult time posting up in this series. Most of his shots have come from the perimeter. You see Vladi doing a good position there and doing a little flop and uh, got the foul. Let's see later. Devots with the hook. Weber and Malone with contact. And if this is Weber. See, he gets deeper are, in trouble. Those fouls are too obvious. Watch this, Bob. He just takes and pushes him with his arm right in front of all three referees. And Chris Weber is saying, look, he, he, you know, he faked that, but no. Chris, you got him in the back. That's not a good play. Maxwell for three. That's what I talked about. This is a guy who's won championships now with uh, the Houston Rockets. Here, I think he's going to be in the league a long time. He knows how to play. Here's Barry. Prior to this playoff series, John Barry, who's playing with his fifth team in the last five years, had appeared in nine playoff games without scoring a point. But he's had some big moments in this series. 12 points in game two, big three late in game four. And a Sacramento foul. Devots to the hook, swatted away by Malone, and it's goaltending. Anytime the ball is out of your hands that long and you're that close underneath the basket, that's going to be goaltending. And this is what they can't handle. Vladi with that little jump hook, and you see the ball going down. Excellent call. Malone with a nice pass inside the Hornacek on the bench. Devots threw it away. Brian Russell. And it's Utah by a dozen. They've doubled them up at 24-12. Maxwell again for free. And he gets the roll. That's what that double teaming in the post does with. Shandon Anderson. Loves to post up. When they bring him in the game, that's exactly where he wants to go. Devots against Foster. Backs him down, then back out to Barry. John Barry hits the three. Stojakovic all can shoot it. They get it inside to Anderson, and Anderson scores again. He had 16 points in game four. Ivats again back to Barry. Barry out to Stojakovic. Off his dribble with five on the shot clock. He'll let it go. That's for the last shot of the period. Maxwell lets it go and can't hit it. Russell takes it and just protects it as time expires. The Kings were staggered, but they didn't go down. You're watching the NBA on NBC. Foster tried to dump it off, but there were nothing but black shirts there. Here comes Barry. Stojakovic for three. And here come the Kings. He's trying to make the adjustment of playing out of that Greek league to playing here now. Stojakovic again. He hit a three a moment ago. Lead to Bailey. The glass and falling home for the one point New York victory. Here's Weber immediately scoring on that little hook and one, and that is his first basket. You can see what Sacramento is doing. They said, we're gonna, we're gonna go through the post. You're gonna have to play us in the post. You're not gonna double team us, and Chris wheel in there, shoot that little jump hook. If you are gonna double team us, we're gonna move the ball and shoot the three. We're four for nine from the three, please. Dick Bavetta blows his whistle at the other end. Stockton and Maxwell were going out, and Maxwell gave Stockton a push. Now, you know Maxwell's not going to back down. Neither is John Stockton, so that's a tough matchup between two tough competitors right there. Stockton trying to set the screen, Maxwell holding him. Finals will win the championship. Despite Stockton's shot late in game four, he has generally not shot well in this series. Anderson from Malone to tie the game at 32. Jumper banks it in. Malone from Stockton. 
That's a total read. The minute Stockton sees that guard slip up, all of a sudden it's a slip right to the basket, and you've got to get the weak side big man stepping up there to take that dunk away. Points. It'll be interesting to see if Atlanta can hold home court or Detroit can break through. Fuller has it blocked by Weber. Gets it back and scores. But it isn't there. Stockton pitches it ahead to Hornacek. Jumper. Stockton's pass finds Fuller, and Pollard comes over to block it. He to paint his fingernails and do all these different things, but he's got some talent. They got to get a shot off because the first one was an air ball, and they do with Shandon Anderson giving them the five point lead. Here's Barry. He scores at the other end in a hurry. It's Malone, a hook. He hits it, and he's coming to the line. Now, that's a weapon you don't often see him use. We talked about Carl Malone, and he's not been able to get real good post position against this bigger Kings front line. But the great passing of Utah. You see Anderson all in one motion. Malone meets the pass. Must have caught him with the body. I did not see anything up top, so they must have said he pushed him with his body as he went up to take that little jump hook shot say to Jason Williams, come on, we need you. Weber lets it go from 20. Hornacek into Malone. Trying to follow. They got all ball, says Jack Knees. <laughs> no foul. <laughs> that's easy for you to say, Bob. <laughs> hey, that's what Jack said. <laughs> Stockton, Williams reached in, and they'll call it on him. It was unbelievable how John Stockton got him to make this. He stuck his left arm out there, like, grab this thing. What's Stockton's left arm now? Here, Jason, grab this thing and get a foul. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I got a little something for you here. Trust me, I've been around a long time. You're just a rookie. You can trust me. <laughs> Utah by seven. Williams, left hand. And it bounces to Stockton. Malone is back. Catching up is Barry. What a defensive play. Well, Jason Williams, Williams an ill-advised shot, and then the great catch by Malone, and John Barry with great hustle on the block shot. Jason Williams is very frustrated. He's very lucky he did not get a technical. He yelled at Jack Neese the whole way down the floor on that play. So and now he bumps Stockton. You gotta get him out right now. He's gonna get a technical is what's gonna happen. Totally out of control here. And Hugh Hollins, after he calls the foul, walks toward Williams and says, hold on here, son. Well, he's lucky that these are veterans officials because, and it's a, and it's a game five, it's an elimination game. They're going to give you a little bit of freedom, but this is a rookie. They're not going to give him too much. Williamson from Weber, nice play. Stockton again fouled by Williams. See, Stockton knows. He's been around, Bob. He knows right now. All he has to do is keep taking because Jason Williams is making this a personal challenge. Now he gets a technical. That's the fourth technical in the game. Weber, Williams, Williamson for Sacramento, Malone for Utah. Weber almost lost it, doubled in the corner by Malone and Stockton. It's still Sacramento ball. See, with Michael Hawkins on the floor now, Stockton is going to be the double team guy. He gets his chest right in there, and you see Weber get that elbow up. And remember, he's got one technical. He gets another when he's out of the game. So the officials are going to be very judicious on how they call that. That could be a totally turn the series in the favor of the Jazz in the second half. Weber again with Stockton and Malone sandwiching him. Just looking to get rid of it. Looked like a shot clock violation. And finally they call it. Which would allow, at least in theory, a catch and shoot. 
Russell, Foster, that's it. The winner gets Portland. It's Utah by 10 at the half. We'll join Hannah Storm in New York. After these messages, you're watching the NBA on NBC. As we were watching here, Vladi starts to go out. Stockton gets in his way. He starts to dribble it. He really never got that ball to his other hand there. I, I, I don't think that's a good call. Russell's jumper increases Utah's lead to 12. For the Kings have got to come through. They faltered at the start. They've got to give him something. And Williamson gives them the deuce. Get in under the salary cap. And obviously there's a larger reward waiting for him in the near future. Stockton's floater is good. Typical fashion. John Stockton's going to fake the little jump shot as Jason Wils uh, Williams closes out on him. And that little floater off the wrong foot. That little medium range shot that he has perfected through his career. Passion for the game. So from external sources have to get him excited to play. You see him right here with a giveaway and a dunk to Weber. Those are the kind of plays that Jerry Sloan just sort of shakes his head at. The reasons why Jerry Sloan has taken him out of the game, you get the offensive rebound, you put it above your head, that will drive Bill Walton crazy. You put it at your chin and chin the ball. And then on the other end, he does the same thing. Balls, this time he brings it down and Williamson takes it away from him. So two possessions there. Jerry Sloan walks down and lets him know, I am not happy with that. Malone screens for Stockton. Gets it back. Takes it to the paint. And is fouled. Sacramento's doing a lot of reaching now defensively. They're not moving their feet. They're reaching in. And the play has been very physical. Weber here in the low post. This is from earlier action. You can see as the game gets started, Malone with the offensive rebound. And he's swatted away from behind. And here's Williams with the steal. Malone is chasing him. There's Williams' first field goal. So that tip that ignites him. He got the nice steal in the layup. Hornacek looking for Foster, but it's broken up and stolen by Weber. his own man but then gets the tip he bumped off Williamson and tipped the second try home Hornacek fakes on Divots shoots off the left foot and misses Stockton comes away with it hands it off to Malone boy that is just a pretty play by Stockton Divots in the paint against three defenders puts it in that's where you gotta go Stockton on the move Hornacek is open. Offense, they're getting it today. Sacramento can't get the two back. Yes, they can on the Divots follow after the first shot was no good. Disaster. Again, Vladi Divots in the post with mobility. Foster can't handle him in there. He loves that spin and come back and seal that basketball. And then he got away, I think, a little bump here on the offensive rebound. Corliss Williamson with a shot. Little bump there on Carl Malone, no call. So back to back field goals by Vladi to keep his team down by six. And Malone's jumper is no good, but Foster flies in for the tip. Here's Eisner. And it comes off to Williams. Jason Williams rips it behind the back to a head. That was that little wraparound, actually pulled it back. Russell behind the screen from Foster. Misfires on the three. There's contact underneath. They're going to call it on Williamson, who argues that Malone was really the guilty party. That's Corliss's third as he talks it over with Bavetta. Let's watch off the ball to see if Malone wraps him up. A lot of contact there. You know Corliss Williamson's going to get that foul. Carl Malone, a smart play there to wrap him up with this guy. Here's a guy who's struggling. Watch this. He wraps it around. Brings it back, finds a head for the dunk. And as he backpedals on defense, you see he's going to slam into Foster there. <laughs> into the scorer's table. Malone against Weber, who stripped it away. Malone kicks the lead back into double figures. Barry for three. Way off. Wahed comes up with it and makes sure. You see the athletic ability, though. Thought about a three, bounces into Divots. He turns on Malone and is fouled. That's Carl's second. 
little series that Utah runs, that little rub cut, and then Malone catches it. And right there, if you give him some space, he'll jab, step, and shoot the jumper. If you close out on him, he likes to drive it. They're back within five. Isley looking for the last shot. Double pumps it up there and misses. Very much a ball game as we head for the last 12 minutes of regulation. We'll be right back after these words from your local station. You're watching the NBA on NBC. The lead to two. Isley, little teardrop is there. Jerry Sloan said, run the basketball. It looked like Isley wanted to slow it down. He said... Isley lost it. Maxwell comes sprinting back. And pulls them back to within five to get rid of it to Weber. They swing it around the perimeter. Here's Maxwell with a floater, and this is a three-point game. The respect that these te this fans have for the Sacramento team. Bailey's turnaround is good. Weber drives right by Bailey, who has to reach in and foul him. He misses them both. Malone with the rebound, then walks a tightrope to save it into Stockton. He and Divots bumping each other in the backcourt. And Divots is going to be nailed with the foul. That's his fourth. See, what Rick Adelman is very upset with right now is with all the stuff that's going on, Carl Malone fell down. He and Vladi get tangled up on this rebound. Carl Malone is falling down out of bounds, and he saves the ball in, and then he comes running back into the picture, and he and Vladi just sort of get wrapped up. Could have let it go. Right there, I think you let that go. Down 3-1 to Seattle. They had made the playoffs sub-500. Maxwell all the way to the hoop. Well, Sacramento has always been one of the toughest places to play in the NBA. And then Stockton shoved the cheers right back down into their throats. Here's Russell from Stockton. And their drought. Shandon Anderson with the emphatic rebound. How about that pass from Stockton? But Fuller can't finish it. There is a foul, though. Six-point lead. Barrett, he'll try a three. And finally it goes down. He was one for six from three at that point in time. Before the shot, Sacramento ball from the side. They go into Divots. And Fuller fouls him again, which would be his fifth. See, right now the Jazz have a problem. Fuller is totally upset. He's got to be careful. He doesn't get a technical. Maxwell into the lane. The floater is good. Quickness. He's got great quickness. They lose it. Barry with the steal. It's a two-on-one. Weber on his left. Barry all the way. Sacramento has the lead. The bench from Sacramento has been unbelievable today. Maxwell, the little floater as he breaks Stockton down with his quickness. The steal. John Barry picks up the loose ball. He's got one thing on his mind. I'm going to take it to the basket. I will not be denied. The Kings have taken a one-point lead. And look at John Barry letting him know here in Utah, we are not going away. Time in that, Bob. It was a quick shot. Stopped and accelerating on Barry. And it's an offensive foul. And Barry rejoices. Says, How about that? They called one on the veteran. John Stockton not happy because this would have been two free throws for Stockton that could have put his team into the lead. Wow, that's close. Looked like John Barry threw his chest into him on that play, and Barry is excited. It's his third opportunity in the post. The lob finds him inside, and he connects. But wait, the foul comes before the shot. Stockton. Russell from the head of the key to tie the game. Stojakovic, big shot. Rebound to Weber. Maxwell hits the three. Now this guy missed eight straight threes the other night in game three. Hornacek, short. He gets it back. Left hand. Oh, Whoa, what a shot. What a shot by Hornacek. Barry splits the defense and hits. 
John Barry. But we force a miss by Hornacek. We have got to have all five guys on the board. Hornacek comes up with a loose ball, and look at this shot. An unbelievable shot here by Hornacek. Now he's at the line shooting two free throws to try to bring his team back to a one-point game. Off another second shot. With the one-point lead in the ball, it's Divac against Malone with the hook. And he increases the advantage to three. Inside a minute. This could tie it. Brian Russell. Makes a huge mistake after Vladi Divac scores on this hook shot to give him a three-point lead. Stojakovic is not a good defender. He's out there for offense, but on penetration, strong side. What's, what's Stojakovic? He's going to leave Brian Russell. Leaves him wide open in the corner and gives him a stand-up three to tie the game. Timeout Sacramento, 48.5 on the clock. Vladi go one-on-one. -on -one. Here it is. Divac turns, lays it up, and misses it. Sandin Anderson flies in for the rebound. Rolling up also. Four seconds to shoot, and it's Stockton. It's not there for him. Divac takes it. Timeout Kings, 9.2. Seven previous games this year, and four of them have gone to OT. This could be five and eight. In the Maxwell. Eight seconds. Barry, now Divac. Five seconds. Against Malone, two seconds for the series. No, overtime. Wow, you think that the Utah Jazz's fans' hearts were not up in their throats on that play, Bob. And that shot goes, and your season is over. Now you've got five more minutes. you got to give Carl Malone credit. He fought him. He's undersized in here. Vladi took his time. He made sure that there would be no other shots, and he just missed it. The Sacramento bench. We'll play at least five more minutes in game five. It stayed down. The Kings are contending that Anderson touched it while it was up there in the cylinder on the bounce. Well, now Sacramento shouldn't be giving up the second shot. Utah's got a small lineup on the floor. Maxwell ties it. John looking for help. Russell out top on the drive, and then inside to Anderson, and it bounces home for him. Depots against Malone. Ball knocked free and taken by Stockton. Stockton racing back the other way. Misses the layup, but Anderson is there. They wave it off. For the Jazz. Stockton gets it to Malone. There's contact as he drives, and he was fouled. Tilted. It's taken five games plus an overtime. Anderson's free. Three big buckets in the OT for Shandon Anderson. The execution by the Utah Jazz and Sacramento right now walking back to the huddle with their heads down. You see Vernon Maxwell under pressure by Stockton. He throws a lazy bounce pass and the Jazz pick it off. And then Shandon Anderson once again, the small lineup has hurt Sacramento. The speed and quickness has overcome the power and size of Sacramento. And again, Bob, you talked about it. They have wilted right now, but it wasn't from their lack of effort. That just Utah's pressure has just turned it up against them. And Malone. Again into Vlade. Malone pokes it away and steals it, but he fouled him. Quick hands of Carl Malone. Vladi turns. Looks like he knocks that ball loose. Very fortunate break there. Now, whatever. And a stop. This game is far from over. Divac running on fumes now. His pass is deflected. And yet another overtime turnover. And they're forced to foul Stockton. And that may finish it. The, the aggressiveness defensively of the Utah Jazz. They tip passes. They've been quicker to offensive rebound. And I think you said it very eloquently, Bob. It looks to me like they've just run out of gas. Vladi has played so hard. 
And it's too bad that he's made these mistakes down the stretch. Thinking three, gets it off, and it's way off. They save it in, and Weber pumps up a three. Hornacek takes it. Bob, watch at the end of this game. You watch the Utah Jazz. You watch them go over, and the admiration they will have for the competitiveness of the Sacramento team. Utah didn't so much win as they escaped in round one. Look at the handshakes. This is admiration. He said, you know what? We fought you to the finish, and it took us an overtime in game five. This is respect.